Hey everyone, this is Inx with a manga recommendation list. Well, not really. Um, this is mainly the series that I am currently reading right now. Um, I'm going to be talking about like, let's say, figure four. And if you haven't checked these out yet, then please do so. And you know what? I hope that I hope that you guys en enjoy the video. And also, thank you for like this taking your time to like this check this out. But um, anyway, en enough of like the intro rambling. Um, I can like also just kind of hear myself stir a little bit, but uh, it's more like a type of excitement stutter than like me just being like just really anxious it's like that but um anyway enough with like the introduction rambling let's just dive right into it okay so first up is don don which i believe is made by yuki nobu tatsu i'm not really for sure if i said that right but he used to be Fujimoto's assistant. And you know what? After reading like the first, I believe I stopped at chapter 11. So I'm like on the halfway point, which I think like Don Don is like maybe a good 21 chapters. So it's like still very catchable. Like if you want to get into this series, um, I think now is like the right time to do so because 21 chapters isn't really all that much. Like, if I wanted to, I could have like this easily bench the the whole thing. But at the same time, um, me me taking my time, um, it just means that each day that I decide to read this, I have like something to just look forward to. But, um, here's the thing, um, I dropped Don 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 at first, it's like, I read the first chapter, I loved the first chapter, but I didn't pick it back up because I wanted to check out some other stuff. So, um, I put it on, on like my hiatus reading list, as in, you know what, I don't hate you, and, and, and it's like, I am I am intrigued by what this story can bring. So what, what I'm gonna do is that I'm going to put you on hold, and then one day, one rightful day, I am going to come right back to you. And the good news is, I came back, and my God, okay, um, Tatsu would have made Fujimoto Sensei or Senpai so proud. Um, this is one of the weirdest yet kind of deep stories out there. The art is good, and just the quirky, chaotic nature, the main characters, and well, this, um, the overall experience of Don Don Don, this brings something different to the shonen table. So, if you have not checked this out, then please do so, okay? It's weird, it's quirky, it's chaotic, but in a good way. Okay, so um, next up is One Piece. Yeah, so I, I just got done with like the first 103 chapters. I'm on the grand line of things. Um, my, my last video i i gave my thoughts on like why i think the all on park is like just the perfect turning point for newcomers like me and so i i don't really have that much to say but i well i i can't wait to like this continue this straw hat adventure because let's see now I, I know that I have the Alabaster arc to look forward to. I know that I get to meet Ace. I, I get to meet the rest of the Straw Hats. Um, and, and like, this the whole 
pre time skip feel. It's like I have that to like just look forward to, but at the same time, I am going to take maybe a couple of days of me not reading One Piece because I don't want to suffer from manga series burnout. So, if you enjoy like the whole adventure aspect and of course wonderful world building, then check out One Piece, okay? But yeah, so oh um before I forget, I am also going to do like some more One Piece videos, but I might just do them on the arcs that I really enjoy. Or I don't know, like maybe I I might like this do like a cheer like a cheer list once I am done with like the pre time skip. I don't know yet, but yeah, so um, this expect more One Piece content. Okay, so um, now we are on to my third read, which means that we are we are like almost done, and of course, I am reading Berserk. Berserk is my third all-time series. Okay, um, uh, my top three series has always been Monster as number one. Um, and it's like a good reason for that and I might explain that maybe in a different video. Um, Poom Poom is like number two, but at the same time, Poom Poom could be knocked down into number three. But it's like right now, Poom Poom is like at number two and Berserk is at number three. However, when it comes to protagonists, my, my number one it's always going to be guts, okay? And um, after I got done reading the Golden Age arc, I had to take a break, people, okay? Um, for the real being of my mental and emotional state, and also for the fact of I cannot, okay, I can't afford therapy. And to see what this poor man goes through i mean think about it okay um he starts off like this this poor innocent boy who is like betrayed by like um by like everyone around him um he finds the band of the hawk which means that he finally finds like that like those bonds and those relationships that he has always wanted um, he falls in love with Casca, aka one of the best females waifus out there. Okay, and not and not to mention that, but like his friendship with with Griffith. So it's like okay, so wow, it's like everything is just going all nice and 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 just dandy for guts, but then. The eclipse happened, and, and everything just turns into complete shit, okay? It's just all fucking shit. And because of that, okay, because of, like, the my mental state, my emotional state, I had to take a break from this, okay? I had to legitimately put down Berserk for, like, a, for like a good week. But... Um, after like that week was over, I decided that I needed to know what was the aftermath of this. And seeing the aftermath of the eclipse, like, like we, we don't just get to see, um, what happens to like the band of the hawk. We get to see everything that happens in the world of Berserk. But, um... It's, I, I think that the convention arc might just get me emotionally and, and, and like this mentally unstable. So I, I might need to like take another break because um, we get to see Guts as this raging monster. But at the same time, we can like still see a bit of his humanity. So yeah, I mean, of course, Berserk will just always be a wonderful read. Um, 
can't wait to see what else happens in this masterpiece of a series and also RRP um to the legend Miura. Okay, so last but not least, um I'm reading Monster again, which is always such a fun read for me because it is my number one manga of all time. It is like my top manga. Okay. Um, it's like if you ask me um what I consider like just a true masterpiece, Monster is gonna be up on that list. It's like I have other stuff. I have others in that list, but monster number one, no matter what. And a good part of that is because of Johan. It's like just hearing these many different things ab about this guy's character. Um, Johan to me is like probably the best written antagonist ever. He is. My number one, okay? It's like, if you ask me to pick out um, who my favorite antagonist is, and, like, let's say the choices were, like, you know, Johan, Madara, um, let's see now, maybe Makama and Pain, Johan is his number one. That is how much I love the guy. But Johan himself is, like not the main reason of why monster is this so top tier to me it's the story itself it's like the whole overall experience of trying to solve this epic mystery like who is johan okay and like the whole 511 kindergarten stuff at kingdom kingdom something okay like the whole 501 orphanage this um trying to solve as i said um a very well done mystery not to mention that that the characters are like just so lovable to me um one of my favorite side characters of all time is mr grimmer i don't know why but the moment that I met him, he instantly became one of my top three um, favorite side characters of all time. And even like the ones like, like um, Eva, I did not like her at first, okay? I thought that she was like, this is complete bitch. But even she grew on me. And you know what? Now she is like, Okay, now she is like, once again, one of my favorite side characters. Um, and then we have like, probably one of my favorite picks for like, one of the best protagonists ever. Because a lot of people give Johan his due. But Dr. Tema, one of the things that makes Monster so great is Tema himself. It's like, Johan is like the darker side of what humans can do tenma represents all of the good okay so we have like that light versus dark and the thing that makes johan such a good villain is because he has dr tenma as a as a protagonist to fall back on so you have probably um one of the best protag and tag duels out there but yeah um if you have not checked out monster then you know what just give it a read or if you want to watch the anime but um yeah so these are the mangas that i am currently reading that i am currently enjoying but yeah this is like a pretty fun video to make um so you know what um in the comments below Put down what your reading list is. And if you have any cool recommendations, then I would love to like just know about it. But um anyway, if you enjoy um me 
rambling on about like manga um then then hit that subscribe button and let especially if you want to see more inks content i'm trying to make it to 200 before trying to make it to 200 before next year hits and i'm halfway there so if you want to help me out then then please hit that subscribe button especially if you enjoy hearing a socially um anxious awkward person talk about their hobby but um anyway this is inks and i will see you guys later bye bye